mechanical counting and calculating devices. Mechanical counting devices are simple machines used to perform arithmetic operations. These machines are operated manually to perform basic calculations. Two major reasons led to the invention of these calculating devices. Number one, the disadvantages of early counting devices. Secondly, increasing commercial activities. The problems associated with the early counting devices majorly led to the invention of simple tools that aid calculations. The number limitations and bulky nature of these devices made it difficult to compute complex numbers. As cities began to develop, commercial activities and business transactions also began to grow. This growth led to complex additions, subtractions, and divisions that early counting devices cannot handle. Also, there was growth in intercity and interstate business transactions, making it difficult to carry bulky counting devices in transit. All this led to the invention of simple machines to replace the early counting devices. These newly found devices were later called mechanical calculating devices. Popular among them are the abacus, slide rule, the napier's bones. The abacus. Abacus was one of the first calculating devices developed to help in arithmetic operations when trading business when trading between countries became important. Its nature and usage helped to overcome some of the problems associated with the early counting devices. The abacus is made of bits or stones and strings or wires with marked out positions. The position of a bit is used to determine its value. Four bits are in the down columns and one bit in, its, in, the, up, in the top columns. The bead in the top column is used to represent a 5. For example, to represent a 7, you will pull a top bead down and pull two bottom beads up. In the beginning, the abacus was just a board with stones or sticks. On the surface of the abacus, there were parallel notches or grooves. People made calculations by moving stones or sticks. If numbers are to be added, stones were added. If subtractions is to be made, stones were taken off. There are different types of abacus counting devices. They include the Chinese abacus called the Swapan, which is still in use today. This device was invented in the early 6th century. Also is the Roman abacus named Kakuli or Abakuli, and the Japanese abacus called Soroban. Soroban was used in the 16th and 17th centuries. As civilization advanced, the Chinese substituted stones for pearls and bullets, and these were put into wire or string. Similarly, the Roman abacus was made of bronze, stone, ebony, or colored glass. Napier bones. The abacus helped so much in performing additions and subtractions but could not be used in complex multiplications. Then comes the invention of Napier's bones. Napier's bones are rods on which numbers are marked. Each bone contains the multiplication of numbers 0 to 9. The value of the product of each number is written in a diagonal form as shown in the figure. With Napier's bones, you can easily perform multiplications and divisions. Let us illustrate how to multiply a number.
Napier's bones were invented in 1617 by a Scottish mathematician named John Napier. It is widely used to perform simple and complex multiplications and, adi and divisions. In some cases, it can be used to obtain square roots. Napier later invented tables of logarithms, logarithms which enabled multiplication and division to be carried out by simple addition and subtraction. The slide rule. The slide rule is an advanced manual device used to perform complex mathem mathematical calculations. With the slide rule, you can perform multiplication, division, power, square root, and trigonometric functions calculations. The slide rule is made up of two fixed bars and a center sliding bar. The metal window has a hairline that is called the cursor, which is used for an accurate reading. On the left hand side of the slide rule are marked scales like A to D. The number of scales on a, si on a slide rule varies depending on the number of mathematical functions the slide rule can perform. In a slide rule, you can use the scales in A and B to perform multiplication and division, and scales C and D for square and square roots. These numbers are marked according to a logarithmic scale with the first number on the slide rule scaling on the slide rule scale being one this is because the logarithm of zero is one the slide rule was invented by an english mathematician and an anglican clergy named william otrid in 1622 this invention was necessitated by the invention of logarithms by John Napier and the creation of log logarithmic scales by Edmund Gunter. This device is equivalent to today's pocket calculator.